Now, and packages are already showing up by the truckload in our neighborhoods. I know you've seen them on the doorsteps. Black Friday shopping, Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday has those package delivery drivers pretty busy. And our Patrick Nelson is joining us with some advice to keep your packages safe. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Bree. If it hasn't happened to you, odds are you know someone who's had a package stolen. CSPD crime prevention officers tell me they're getting as many as 50 surveillance videos a day from neighborhood watch groups of people doing just that, stealing packages. It's why it's so important to know the steps to prevent the crime in the first place and how to respond when it happens. These people work hard for this money to buy gifts for their kids or their family. Um, and these people that want to steal the packages are just... Ugh. You can hear the frustration in the voice of Susie Hunts, who has lived in this Colorado Springs neighborhood since 2006. She says complaints about stolen packages have only increased over the years. I see neighbors all the time posting, hey, I'm supposed to have a package. Did somebody get it? It makes me crazy. Packages are stolen at all times of the year, but Susie is on edge about all the opportunities on the horizon for criminals with so many more people shopping online. So many people work. So many people are in the military and can't get out if they have packages. So I think they really need to look into different avenues when they are, especially to let their neighbor know so they can pick it up. Jonathan Liebert at the Better Business Bureau of Southern Colorado is concerned about these potential crimes too. It could be a package, it could be uh, money in, in a letter. I mean, all these things are just, are just ripe for somebody to come in and take advantage of, to steal it and to rip you off. He says safeguarding your holiday package starts with how you pay for it. Buying something with a credit card is important because if there is some type of theft, then you have a better chance of getting some of your money or all of your money back. It's not guaranteed. And where you send the package can make a difference too. Amazon has the, these lockers, and so you could send it to a locker where you have a code and you can go and check that package out. Perhaps taking the opportunity to pick it up at the local postal office. Maybe you ordered something, have it come to that store, have it come to the place where you purchased it, and then you can pick it up later when it arrives. Tracking that package can help, but be aware of scam text messages. If you don't remember something and it's telling you you have a package coming, then don't click that link. Ultimately, if it's a high-priced package, you can pay for insurance or to require a signature. Spending a little bit of extra money on the front end might help you a lot on the back end. If something happens to the package, if it's stolen, if it's damaged. So just be aware that while it is easy and it, and it is convenient, people are counting on that. They're counting on it to be easy for you so that they can take advantage somewhere on the trip or even at the end when it's being delivered. So we hope this story gave you some things to consider to keep your packages safe. But we do know, unfortunately, some of them, they're going to be stolen. So what do you do next? Take a look. First, you want to verify the theft. Make sure the package wasn't delayed, misplaced, or maybe picked up by a neighbor or family member. Next, you want to notify all parties involved. Notify the seller, the shipper. Delivery companies often have a claim instruction on their website. Then contact your credit card company. See if they can help stop those payments. And finally, notify law enforcement. Some people don't take this step. You can share any details you have, surveillance video. It not only documents your loss, but it can also help investigators track those crime trends. And, you know, according to shipping industry research, stolen packages last year, $8 billion nationwide. So this is an expensive crime. I know there's some things that we can do that you you were saying informed delivery, which I had never heard of. So very easy to apply for Right. That. So this is anything that comes through the mail. You can sign up through USPS for informed delivery. Mm -hmm. What it does is it sends you an email with photos of what you can expect in your mailbox that day. Now, I would say absolutely sign up for that because if you don't, yeah. a crook could actually use your address and name to sign up for it to monitor your mail. So take ownership of that and sign up. Yeah, I, I was given that advice. It's very easy to sign up for and it's really good to do it's ahead helpful. of the holidays. All right. Let's